even kuna mahali alipita <laughs> kiwango somewhere wewe well, uliona hivyo mm-hmm. kuna mahali uh, eh, is hard he actually, kama... he actually shared a video of himself mowing alone in the space <laughs> akisema unajua huku uh, lazima ukae tu fanye fanye tu kazi ati ameanza ati kuomoka imeanza mm. uliona and he was mowing alone <laughs> yes and then Eric is like you think we don't know why you're doing that <laughs> ati he has to do that to survive that otherwise atarudishwa Kenya I hope si comedy I hope atuchezewi hapa fall play. Mm-hmm. Unajua tunaweza kuwa tunachezea no, baba. Jealous actually you remember the last time when you talked about Jealous mm. kuna vile alikuwa amesema at Jealous unatetewa na madem unatetewa na wamama ndio wanashinda hapa. Acha na Jealous mm. wetu Jealous was like you want us to talk about women. Mm. Kibene vile unapenda wamama. Mm. <laughs> eh but then ilifika hiyo point. Actually told him that but aku mm. aku expose mm-hmm. and then Eric was like you know what Jealous I'm going to full be out Shikilia. <laughs> <laughs> Say no more. Say no more. <laughs> And then he's like what are you telling us at moral authority now where when the kwanza una umeka kwa mama and you're talking about at moral so then i don't know unaweza a boy child wana kuanga said ya kibe sana sana kibe akisema fanyeni hivi mnafanya akisema jump you ask how high i don't do that at your high to fit a wapi i don't do that it's just that i'm just na julie that too why tumefikaje ka boy child tunaanza kupigana si wenyewe Yeah. Yeah. I'm yeah. not right. concerned about the cloud cause wacha nikwambie Gibe is a cloud chaser now. Mm. Last week nilikuwa nakutetea sasa hii wewe mm. una chase too cloud. <laughs> Ndio nilikuwa amengoja umtetea. Na siwezi kutetea. Ndio na is chase too. Bank, bank. But now when we start getting to <laughs> hit each other as guys mm. right. inakuwa ai jo as in unatoa happy courage ya kuongelea boy mwenzako mm. unaanza kukuwa unaanza ku expose ana vitu wazifai. Unajua yeah. kuna private life kuna lines zingine watu wa to cross for reasons mm. as in hiyo ni private life yao mse mm. eriko mondi yako na life yake mm. kibi yako na life yake mm. mamito mwili yake iko yes. venye iko jalasa ako hivyo wote kurukaruka hizi mm. lines cause hizi lines zikikuwa ziko very clear mm. mse anaweza iruka na hakuna kitu kitu mm. yeah. utapoa maneno hapo kama hizo za eriko na auna response jo hata uli shavuka hizo lines yeah. you know? na ni uli anzia okay, let me tell you let me tell you something mm. now after that eric um, eric mondi is exposed yeah. so see people expected him to clap back he mm. was like you know jo your story i record a song earlier mm. let's talk about all celebrities and then now he talked about every single person from mamito is like mamito talked to valia bikini we see models juni nini and then he's like kamene siju nani he was actually But can, calling people out mwakanya. Yeah <laughs> he called people out like Gambia they're not talking about the injustices that are happening in Kenya. Do you think he has the um, uh, moral obligation to talk about that? Cuz he was like he didn't actually give Edgar credit for talking about that but at least mama celebo melalia maskio they're not talking about what's happening on the ground like people are suffering but has he talked about it? My dad was him now talking about it and he's calling out other people to speak about it. Mm-hmm. Is it time? Kuliza tu swali. Yeah. Yeah. Celebrity kazi yake kama ni wa ku entertain na entertain watu pia atafute chake cha kukula askari yake. Yeah. Yeye si mtetezi. Yeye si yeye yeah, tunamwitanga human rights activist. Yeah. Yeye si hiyo. Yes, like mbona body shame a comedian? Yeah. Mtu kama mamito um body shame ati atetei Kenya. Wewe umefanya nini mzuri kama una body shame apati, if you are capable of picking on a particular person. Yeah. Someone as mtu meas mamito acha tuseme yeye ni anafaa akiongea country yetu i change like wewe umefanya nini as an individual mm-hmm. wewe juu ulikuwa personality yeye yeah, is a renowned nilisikia amejaribu umejaribu politics mm-hmm. ikaanguka ukajaribu radio ika ukaja like ulikauntiwa you know like na i think ndio maana ali club back so hard yeah. and so angry but you didn't have to pick especially mimi mambo ya body shaming kwanza sitakangi hiyo mchezo Mm-hmm. Like some things that people cannot change about themselves Watch stop. Mambo ya wa mama ya mumama wa 77 57 and oh, <laughs> and as a change. Okay. Hey, are you 45? So they're like yeah. you're 45 you're not married you don't have kids mm. and you're talking about other people's children. Mm. Like okay that's wrong. That's also, too personal actually. I don't feel like anyone has mm? any particular age where they're supposed to have a family and stuff. Mm. So that's also wrong for people who are telling mm. him that cuz Eric actually told him that. But at the same time <laughs> Like, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I think he someday at some point he actually deserves it mm-hmm. because he literally ako hapa anambia madam atanene my boy atanene na now as channel like they'll not help you wako na sponsor so guys are like now wewe hauna wewe ngapi ngapi 
for a sponsor. <laughs> Ndio, ndio mimi nasemaje. Yeah. Kuna kuna lines zingine. Okay, you might be as in kama umeamua ni ku advisor. Mm. Maze go the Americans way. Waje kama hata kujifanya vile wewe ni mzuri na we know you. Yeah. You know, oh yeah. You know, tuko na history mzee. As in uko na <laughs> you know tuko na receipts. Hakuna haja tuanze kupiga. There's actually a very controversial story about mm. him. You know the, some um allegedly mm. she was involved with some underage yeah. Yeah. and there was actually a video vitu mpaka ziko na evidence yeah. na tuongea hangi yeah. so kama umeamua kwa advice wase kuwa tu advisor hiyo ni heartbreak maneno sijui ni nani alikuwa heartbreak mm. mzee lakini si lazima ubody shame mtu yeah. na si lazima utouch on personal lives za watu watoto wa watu vitu watu wanafanya life ya mtu nobody cares hata si jisikia mtu ame stand out against him kama Eric Mundi Yeah. Jalas alicheza chini mm-hmm. na hiyo ikaisha oh and Kamene eh Kamene alisema yo but yo, yo. you see <laughs> that's actually what Kamene said is actually mm-hmm. what I'm, as in kuna conversation tunaweza have and they used to be really cool yeah. no, kwanza walikona work I would actually pamoja. not say yeah. they, are, they are having an issue yeah. I would actually not say they are having it's just that Kibe is crossing some lines and also mm-hmm. as if I could be to unavuka sana mse niku remain relevant ama ni nini natafutwa to stay relevant now and it's una, una, ni too una, much oh, ringto na mekuwa hapo mse wacha na eh muachie hiyo ni yake <laughs> tulimpe hiyo chao you can't go against that one we give him all that All right, no. So with Erico he was talking about his car, the the idea of Eric cross dressing and he does not like that. Mm. So and he's like why are you out here talking about mm. Wanjigi? At Wanjigi ni youth. Is he a youth? Like Wanjigi is not a youth. And then he's talking about uh like Eric cross dressing and putting on makeup. He had a problem with that. Like do you guys have a problem with people cross dressing? You see there is opinion. Mm-hmm. He has a right to an opinion. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He has a right to express himself. Yeah. But the right way. The, the issue is how, how? do you do it? Mm-hmm. Right. Unaona? Mm-hmm. As in, I personally don't even like the idea of cross dressing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 And I don't like being associated with people calling themselves a category that probably they are not in. Mm-hmm. You know, kuna vitu kama hizo ambazo lakini yeah. uongee angi vibaya yes. kama upendi you, you, exactly you, you say them in a very democratic and a very diplomatic manner wacha kukanyaga lines zingine and say right. if it's 45 indeed man the 45 it is Operate ikam na hiyo respect mimi sina issue na watu wa ki cross dress especially yeah. mtuka eric ni comedian yeah. eh, kama ule mse wa kuuza nguo you know like there are some things then it's okay because if you, if it's giving you an extra coin because probably eric alikuwa me cross dress alipwe Yeah. You know. Exactly. So, Bill. na hiyo it's bills we have to pay the men. Na hakuna kitu ya mtu amechukua, ajanyanganya mtu anything. Mm. You know. Like so if he did it for his own cash and uwezi uh, mpea wewe mwenye una mcriticize. It's fine. Like you just leave it at that. Venye deno amesema, kama huwezi fanya anything about it na unajua ukiongea itatoka vibaya, you'd rather keep quiet. And I want to mm. shout out actually to my guy who's very mm. grateful. He mm. actually penned a very long post and he was mm. like really thanking God for mm. how far he has gotten him. Like I'm like it's not like um but he's like got the strength mm. like it's just to God's grace. And I like people who do that. People mm. when you you you, you know, appreciate unakumbuka. Eh, hey, mm. you remember where you've come from. Mm. Alright, now let's go to another story that has a little bit to do with the Mtumba guy. Kid of Gold. Now you know he markets Devin collections. Mm. Now let me tell you about them. Now, the Vine Collections businesswoman Masi Maluli sent the internet into a frenzy after she revealed that she gifted her 6-year-old son Brayden a mansion. Hmm? Now, taking to Instagram, <laughs> Marcy revealed that the boy has always wanted a house and she only made his dream come true. I'm not even playing about this. We have a video, so let's just check it out. Okay. Yeah. Happy birthday. Thank you. Dutch, this is not a super cheap. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. <laughs> right now, I would love to like <laughs> Like what? When I was six years, I wasn't even thinking about like owning a home. But that's a very ambitious six years. <laughs> 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 you know? 
you just call her three keep on and you said it like at four years you're like mom i would love a house like what would you like for your birthday i want a home like man i want I, I, if i was ambitious at that age like that you would be sitting here with your face you think you're a guru you think you're a lesson you don't know what you're doing you don't know Let me tell you another person who's making such moves. Now, Vibes Cartel, I did teach her, yeah? Mm-hmm. One boss. Guess what? Mm-hmm. He's in jail. He's been uh, in, in mm-hmm. incarcerated for yeah. life, I guess. Is it life for mm-hmm. 60 years or 40? I'm not sure. So mm-hmm. many years. But now, this is what happened. He just bought property for his family as well. Like, for his, uh, I think, his kids. Uh, I think he he's I th- like his siblings I think and then his kids and his grandchild I'm on buy my nyumba pia kila mtu na nyumba I'm like kwani but kuna difference what is happening kuna kuna hiyo kuna hiyo kuna mahali tuna cross tuna hapo kuna mahali mawili vibes are going yes lakini at the turn one year eh lakini hapo kuna mahali yeah kuna hapo si grand shall see ali dream of a house yeah yeah me buy you yeah ni guka alisema it's fine it's fine it's, fine. it's fine. like hiyo ni kama push gift yeah yeah, yeah, yeah yes yeah the mother you yeah. mm, may get lakini sasa hapa yeah. mimi naona ni kama tumeanzia kuingiza nguo na kiki Allah, just be told. So wait a minute, wait a minute. Yes. Let's see. Eh. Okay, let, okay, let's take it back. Let's just take it back. Uh, uh, a little bit. A na, little bit. Eh, eh. Masi buys a six-year-old a house. Eh. Says it's been his dream. Yes. yes. Who just turned six? Yes. Mm. Five. So mm. I have a dream of a yes. house. For five years. I remember you and you. I have very vivid <laughs> memories <laughs> of me being the six-year-old. <laughs> You are here saying that anataka tumjue. Ama watoto wasiwizi IQ vile tu tunaenda inaenda kipanda. Watu wanaenda nikijiuliza hivyo. Ya kushika ndio pita class 1 na tulikuwa tunashikia class 6 hiyo class 1. Sasa 6 I'm trying to think with a little psychology in a child development niko nayo ya shule. A 6 year old Mm, itakuwa hard. I think tu ni ile baba unataka nini? Tuhame hii nyumba twende yetu. Ndoto nikasonga na hiyo. Nikajua sasa mtajua aje nimejenga na nimebuy house. Okay, me... Mtoto wangu alisema naongea kweli. Is it listening in neighborhood? Yeah. Listening to the location mali leko that is in Lovington. Yes. Okay. Loving Sis is fine she has worked for her money she deserves yes. it. Yes. Na ni sawa mm-hmm. pigwe tu picha Instagram wadau kama sisi atungekosa kuipitia mm-hmm. lakini sasa if you mix business with vitu kama hizi kuna mahali itafika mahali unaanza ku clash na watu wenye hata hawafai na label yako ni kitu imetambulika like everyone is doing it including yes. mtu kama maina kageni mm-hmm. mtu anavaa anasema dressed by blah 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 yep ushafika mm-hmm. kuna kiki zingine tuachie wenye wako kwa hiyo industry tunasema wenye wako kwa hiyo industry mtu kama recommend atakasema mtoto wake ameitisha nini atuweke <laughs> <Tutu Tutu>. you know <laughs> but kuna mahali business ukimix na vitu zingine ai ai six year old ai dengi yes. are you sharing the same sentiment about what's happening because i don't understand you guys can't you just be like Oh my goodness, it's the lucky 6 year old. Like I don't remember like my dreams coming true at 6 years, you know? <laughs> Are we like happy? No. We just can't say that and move on. Lazima muone ni kiki jameni. You know? Kijana. Uh, uh-huh. me, me, me I don't have an issue the guy or the boy owning a house. Mm. I'm just concerned he hao atakuwa na kana nani. <laughs> so, 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 that's the thing that's the thing what you hear mm-hmm. just uh, saying as in it would have been easier said uh, from my own okay atukukwambia <laughs> Tuseme so, kweli. Tuseme tu hivyo, mm. lakini hatukwambii vile ungefanya. Unajua mm. unarudiki mnaanza kusema, "Oh, wananiambia vile ningefanya kama nani?" Hatuna ubaya. Mm. Hata ukitaka kusema ni yabuka, ni sawa. Mm. Hatuna problem. Okay. Mm. But hiyo hey. kiki na nguo, mimi nasema biashara na kiki ambapo na, so, na lifestyle. Ai, ai, 
haijawaingia na hata kama hatuna kubwa kama yako hata tuetu tudogo hatukuingia hata imagine mimi ni hame ni bed mtoto wangu alafu aanze kusema ni kwake anifukuza hadi tena wangu avia bedzito ya ndao kwa sasa alafu mtoto aseme ni kwake siku wa manani toka huku umemwambia aende afanye umetoka wapi Rudi kwenye ulikuwa. Rudi kwenye ulikuwa. Baba. Mom. Our friends wako nyenye mlikuwa nao endo kalale kwa mmoja huku. This is my house. Kwangu kuingia yangu hii masaa. Unaingia na giza wewe na giza mnaingia kwa mmoja. Lakini kiki kiki si za kila mtu. Tunataka kiki zimeenda shule. Kiki wacha iende shule yake. Wacha i graduate. Wacha i graduate. You're trying but like you said somehow I would prefer you go to what JC is saying as in stick to business. I would wish to see you as a business mogu. Unaitaka watu. Mogu. Yes. Hao watu ambao usikiangi vitu ambazo wanaona. Unangojaaga vitu sasa zile watu wanasukumana kwa gazeti. Unasikia. Wanasukumana kwa gazeti. Time yake. You know. That's the thing. I would wish that was the way. Yeah, Instagram. But I didn't even know like people who make that much money off clothes. Like I'm so they happy do. for her. That's like, buying a home in Let like, me tell you Lampton. something. Just like that. Can I tell you something? My mom told me ukitaka kuomoka kuna yeah. biashara tatu vitu zenye ni essential food. Kuwa na rental homes na nguo. Juizo ni ese- food, shelter and clothing. Hata hizo ndizo tulisoma basic needs. Basic. Yeah. So lazima Let's nguo filin hata uko umesota aje unaonanga nguo una nuru mimi nilijua hizo nguo si za bei cheap na nyala hizo zikwangi kumbe ala wasema eh hiyo ana anahitaji tu mtu anunue t-shirt mbili na business idea that's an idea all right so solve the issues that Jesse has talked about mm. the three issues mm. food clothing shelter hiyo chazea hapo and that's it and then take it to where the people are yes you're done i love you target market yako ni nani yes yeah. Yeye yeah, yeah, target market yake ni mtu yeah. ameomoka mtu anajiweza yeah. mtu kama ina ingia nunue t-shirt moja aje hai bazu hata nunua yes same kala zote the same style zote you know anapita pale anapita you know i hear you i hear you all right shout out to him and uh, to her and uh, you know and the boy also mm. happy birthday and of course for what she's doing for mm. blessing lakini that kiki guy, chore wewe yeah. that was an amazing thing you did lakini kiki iishe Wacha arudi back to business wacha tuone Hapana kuna ingine yenye inaharibu tukiona unaharibika hatu, aturuhusu juu ni self made hiyo hatutaki aharibike like she's a woman who has done her thing okay. aendelee hivi aendelee hivyo hivyo na tunge ukisema right. kijana wako na pesa kuna watu wana slide gig dm huyo kijana atataka <laughs> kwa instagram page kuna watu wanafanya vibaya Imagine unajua utapata watu kwa nani. Haya. You don't know. You Instagram page ya mtoto. Oh, you don't know. I know. Hi, hi. Hi baby boy. My daughter is four years. Can you link up for play date? You know the, the, the age difference is only two years. You know. Play date. You know play date. My name is. You guys are overthinking. Hapa hivi. Go on the next one. Go over there. Right, now let's talk about a serious issue now. Mm-hmm. Now, following weeks of graphic and emotional testimony, R. Kelly was convicted on Monday, Ooh. yeah? Mm-hmm. On all counts in his New York sex trafficking trial. Now, this is after more than 25 years of accusations and a federal court trial in New York that lasted seven weeks. Um, R&B, uh, R&B singer R. Kelly has been found guilty of charges including sexual exploitation of child, bribery, racketeering, and sex trafficking involving five victims. Kelly faces a possible of uh, a possible sentence of 10 years to life. Kelly who has been behind bars since his arrest in July 2019 won't be sentenced until May 4th. Now of course we don't have a video for that but mm. we just want to have like a serious conversation about mm. this, right? Mm. Now and this is just New York. Now mm. there are other states zenye zime zinamngoja bado. There is a uh, I don't know there is um there is there okay I, I can't I, I can't remember states by name mm. but I know there are various states mm. zenye zina mngoja pia for a court trial he's yet to be sentenced but inayo 
I mean, all charges that were put up against him, Zolte, they found him guilty on all accounts. So I shanga kwa ni lawyer wake. Eh, msi. Aku na taka moja hivi unge. Nini? But let's now talk about this because these are serious offenses. Mm. Can you imagine? Like there is um, uh, sexual exploitation of mm. a child, mm. and then there is bribery, mm. there is rocketeering, mm. and there is sex trafficking. Mm. And these are just five victims, and mm. there are more. Mm. And you see, his story it's been there for over twenty five years, and it's been piling up over the years. Kuna watu alipata ikiya iki happen na size ni watu akuboni. Wamama wameolewa, wamevoto wameolewa, wakona watoto. Imagine. Like it's very serious. Going to five years ago and he was a, a renowned like gospel mother. artist to answer yeah we start there have you guys watched surviving r kelly yeah that series yeah kenya documentary mm. it's so painful mimi hearing at anafungo 10 years in aniwasha no it's not 10 years 10 years to life to life oh uh, it could be more it could be oh. even 100 it could be 100 years wow. but this is one state not your us there yeah, are many states yeah there are so 53 there are other states yeah Nani other, mingi. Yeah. i think there were 12 so you need 12 so from the there documentary are many different other states i watched that the thing jam, try, yeah. and the victims jusa sani wale wame survive kelly yeah people are married but hawajahil from yeah. the trauma yenye huyu mtu alikosa au mm. like it's so painful seeing a whole mother amesha ku alikuwa dem then yeah uko na studio yako unaita watu na wambia they know eh hey, kuja na saidia watu unajojua kule blacks ndio kuimba yeah. ndio ku rap yeah. so a chick comes she's 16 unajua uko its age yake amealawiwa kufanya kitu mm. but that is the same person unachukua na una mess na yeye and then you make mtu, she's 40 years. ameongea saa hizi bado hajawahi heal like you see someone crying live on camera ki interview it's so painful kuona umse ati bado anasema yeye hakuna kitu amefanya you even wonder like god like you just there are some people wenye tunafaa tu tuombe because it shows he's not okay because that are, at some point those chicks were no, saying akona remorse. remorse do you know he's remorseful yeah he is he's, he's very, very remorseful. remorseful by the way but let me tell you the reason why he's remorseful now they say hurt people hurt people yeah. you've heard of that phrase yeah. right now this all things stemmed from him mm. being also violated as a child. As a child. He was also, also violated took advantage of a close of family him. member. Yes. And that's what also planted this seed in him. So say yeye vile alifanywa pia yeye na akaanza kufanyia watu wengine. And I saw there's something sometime back you see now you are skill mtu anataka rights zake, rights za hawa rights za hawa. Tikila mtu ni kweli. Wao wana kwanza hapa za pink, mimi za light pink. Knows are blue. Yeah, everybody wants their rights. So there are these people, pedophile. You see, R. Kelly, there's um, yeah. he's being accused as a pedophile yeah, in some yes. cases, mm. right? And now he's there are some people who are talking about pedophiles also wanting to have their own rights. So can you imagine what? someone taking advantage of your child and they want to have rights as a pedophile? So for him, Wait. before someone did that to him, I think he was sodomized. Senator, yeah. like um. Uh, you more understand from that angle. like you understand it's something that is in me <laughs> it makes me do these things like i can't control it it's how <laughs> i am wired i am like this by the nature. first step do of you... healing starts with acceptance the fact that he has he has accepted he's a pedophile he has that trauma in him anafa anze ku kuwa ako ready who heal from that you know i know and we, we really need have to have a discussion on this we don't want to be a wake up boy okay they don't just hold that thought yeah. we have to come back because it's time so we need to take that commercial break it's going to be a very short one we're coming right back stay with us why two five four Imagine. So, it's just the two of us. Come. Right, welcome back. Thank you so much for staying with us. You are watching Chit Chat right here on White Purple TV, your favorite youth channel. The hashtag is Chit Chat. My name is Philina. at Philin Jun on all the social media pages. And of course, I'm with the gang gang right here in the studio. I'm joined with JC Mugure. That is Jacinta Mugure on all socials. And of course, Dennis Bob Miner. Now, before we went on a break, we were talking about RK, who's been found guilty on all the charges that he was charged with mm. by the New York court. They're the ones that he was accused with. He's yes. been found guilty on all accounts. Yes. And that includes 
sex trafficking there is um se- okay this sex trafficking there's racketeering and then there's bribery and then there's um also child uh, sex- sexual exploitation of a child right and that is in one state so we were talking about this the damage the damage sex uh, exploitation does to a person mm. you know yeah it's 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 uh, actually kuna vitu there's a lot of damage that we can actually talk that actually leads to such people right the issue is now that we are here and mm. we know he is at this point mm-hmm. one we need to first of all get him hata yeye mwenyewe one as we are going through him akienda kusava hata yeye mwenyewe anafaa ku dealt with mambo ya counseling because he never mm. went through that yes he never went through that yeah. i wish mm. he went through that mm. because probably we wouldn't be talking about this mm. i'm so disappointed in him mm. i'll tell you for free because Arkeli was something i used to sing almost every day and then you were not in the hata sasa hii tukaambia ukatuchezea hapa tutatoa wimbo yake moja so yani tutaziimba tu you know so the, the, the fact that now i can't sing his songs in peace anymore inanisumbua pia i know as in and his songs were deep like yeah. deep for women what a woman loves mm. you think like he Naza he God. Women and Naza stuff. God storm is over. Naza and you know, come yeah, to yeah. think of it from the documentary people are saying if you look back at his songs, ziko na message alikuwa na try out to send kwa watu. Yeah. Ukiziangalia zote, ukizianalyze, ni after kitu ime happen, anawaambia the storm is over. Ni after kitu ina happen. Le- yes. Like mnakumbuka mpaka yeah. the, the musician who died she's Ashanti ama Ashanti ama ule mwenye alikuwa no, girlfriend wake no na anaitwa Alia, Alia. Alia. Yeah. do you know Alia alikuwa victim wake gone to the grave with that story how is she has no one to tell to like nobody right. will ever know of that now, now let's talk about another angle there are some um, people who felt like they are targeting black men who have excelled over the years and they are targeting them in their like they, when after years have gone by they've already exploited them then they, t- they that's when they they are they actually charge mm, them mm. so he started with uh, Bill Cosby not mm. even Bill Cosby Michael Jackson before mm, he died mm. they they also said he was a pedophile and mm. he used to some domize i don't know boys and stuff like allegedly right so there was Michael Jackson who was like one of the greatest musicians mm, ever mm. to live mm. and then there is Bill Cosby the greatest comedian of all time mm. who's child <laughs> like you know get and now there is R. K. Mm. who's like one of the best R&B singers ever they're like these things are there Lupita spoke about this and uh, he accused, she accused to one of the um, hollywood directors mm. because they are happening in hollywood but now why are, how come all these white men are not facing the same charges of black as black people why are they targeting black people you so know, do you think like it has something to do with that that like as much as he did all these things but they just out to ruin black history like for the really, guys who've excelled over the years i kind of want to also lead on that angle kidogo because mm-hmm. yeah. mm-hmm. um you know we we are still in a time when a black person is still at risk kiplani mm-hmm. yeah. his his rights are still not as Okay kuna bado states zingine bado una feel kuna wasa wanasema eh manze mimi si feel gig nikiwa bado kuna kuna mali siezi tembea yeah. you know that thing is still there mm-hmm. we can't really uh, brush it off and say that we've, we've done with racism mm-hmm. because you see every time today we're pushing not to racism because mm-hmm. that that means it's there yeah. so you might find that it's embedded even in systems mm-hmm. of uh, government and not even government even in so many other places <laughs> sure. so unapata mm-hmm. unda kuniambia these actions of uh child trafficking mm. you can do that alone yeah it's true you can do that alone mm. you can't have it can trace kuna watu wa ku connected eh, pia kwa ndani question yeah. is a whole was community. he doing all of this alone yeah. as we are charging him and as we are correcting our kelly scenario mm. the question is where was everyone else mm. in the circle because he, he wasn't doing this alone so question is as as people are asking this question of uh why are we not seeing white teachers and i don't like going Ni to the white miss pendi could talk white mm, blacks mm. i'm just asking eh? why is it that when he's there is when we are going for that yeah. you know as in time yake ilikuwa time utungesikia hizi kesi kutoka exactly. kambo that's what they were asking 25 years ago that's when all this happened but i also have another so mm. someone was just saying they are out to ruin the 
the the name of the blacks like after a shy excel uh, and then you go after them when they can't do anything for you anymore because your time the the name of your state is you know it's being celebrated but i have oh, he comes from this state he comes he's from the u.s and stuff. i have another angle yeah ukiangalia <laughs> age yeah, yao watu water the, the same story. age they're almost in the same age what any was yeah let's talk of that yes. and if you check back back then in the days your time your the black people in the u.s were like abused so it's the time it could not trickle down to the kids now what total like what can kina Bill Cosby, kina Arkeli, kina Michael Jackson. Yeah. Meshika, at one point or another, they were abused by a relative, a friend, a neighbor, yeah. a trustee, kulikuwa na gang. So much was going on. Yeah. So let's not assume the fact that yes, some of them are guilty. Mm-hmm. Not easy justify anything. Yeah. Not yeah. Sure. But they still, own yes. They, these are choices. Exactly. And justice have consequences. Exactly. Yeah. Nani consequences mtu ana face yeah. easy. But still on that angle ya system yeah. favoring a certain type of people yeah. over a certain type with the same crime. Mm-hmm. Yoni wrong. Right. Like for a fact that is very wrong. Mm-hmm. But kama mtu rangi yako it doesn't define what you've done. Kama ni makosa, kosa ni kosa. Right. That is but it. I also feel like the village to the name is Emma. There are so many people behind the scenes because mm. at that time he's a superstar. Yes. I had to go sit cut after us China. Are you going to let her being produced? That Nia and I'm letter. Their lawyers, their friends <laughs> and of course I could take you a moja. And I hope there are other people that exactly. were involved but I but let's charge her Kelly. Anyway, he has he was the he is the star. We don't know about the other mm. people. We know you so he maybe he should have done the right thing then. But I like the fact that he's remorseful. So mm. and Aponga very remorseful by the way. All yeah. right, now let's go to another story. And singer Mercy Music found herself on the dark side of social media after accusing Lin Ngugi of blackmail. Uh-oh. In a detailed video, the singer accused took off making millions of money using her sob story while trying to neglect and uh, while at the same time neglecting and blocking her for wanting her share of the money now however social media users stand against her and accused her of painting lean google in bad light yet many people jumped on her story including ja last we have receipts and of course a video as well let's have a look at that story had over after some time i saw my tuko uh, story had over one million views and i commented hey tuko give me even you know even a hundred thousand shillings you're earning millions from my story and tuko blocked me from commenting on their page okay and i would like to request tuko now that lin Gook is out please take down my story if you know tuko tag them tell them to take down my story there's no way you're gonna keep gaining from my story and i'm gaining nothing it's not right it's not fair and uh, i want to tell my story in my own way so go ahead and take down my story to go thank you guys so most of the money i was Now, for those guys that are watching home and they are wondering, like, what is this story all about? Now, Marcy um, is the is that chick. She was deported from the U.S. and back. She has a very sad story, by the way. It's not funny, but so she did a story on Tuko, which got like over a million views. And her problem is that Tuko made a lot of a lot more money, like because your video you end up viral and they're making money. So she's like, you need to give me a cut. Like, well, how am I suffering and you guys are making money off me? But according to Lin Gugi, her number was shared. So people are also get, uh, actually sending her money. So one thing happened. One time she contacted Lynn, allegedly, according to her. And Lynn told her she needs to come back on Tuko and talk about the stories that are being talked about her. Sababu kuna wasichana walikuwa mekuja kutoka Mombasa and they were accusing her of ruining their lives. Sababu what they do, allegedly, apparently, 
Um, there's this site, I, I don't know the name of the site, and I don't get just see this There is a site where women and dress like you talk to people that are not basically mostly mm. not in your country, mm. so you just talk to them, and laugh they tell you what to do. Mostly, they would want to see you undress mm. and you know, just like to konyuma. nasty things mm. in front of mm. the camera for their own enjoyment. Mm. And after that, they send you coins, they send you money. Mm. Sasa wakisha kutumia do alafu wakitumia hizo hela nyinyi mna naye anapata share yake yeye kama share lady yes mm. so um lin told oh. of course because her house mm. the house they are using is the one who pays the rent and recruit was trying yeah, to allegedly it actually so but um, she did it on live nini media watu yeah. wakienda kwa nini za a certain media house watazipata hapo right. it is there oh, see si, si kitu yeah see si kitu yeah. ya so yeah. there's something she does it's there yeah. So she said <laughs> Kenyans like sometimes you have to stop at your too mm. holy like you pretend to be your hypocrites you pretend to be too holy but this is something that is happening so according to her Lynn was blackmailing her sababu alimuita interview so shidaki ilikuwa hivi sikuji interview nyingine na ile ya kwanza ina make pesa na mi pay do so why would i come for another interview and you guys are not paying me? okay so um, i accuse Lynn of you know blackmail but Lynn said alimwambia aje kwa interview to clarify something because there are women who are saying they will come to yeah, the exactly. show to talk about her so I could be before yeah so so I'm I'm right and I'm trying to like you come to yes. give us your side of the story because we, before we have this interview because we are going to have this interview we're mm-hmm. going to talk to these ladies so Yeah now cuz Malin is not as holy as you think she is she's a pretender she's not a good person <laughs> <laughs> So what are our thoughts JC Mimi mm-hmm. thoughts zangu mm-hmm. alikaa chini akaona eh na mnikumbuki I don't wanna know I don't wanna ni asimia ya amu asimia ya I don't give a mm. yes, about it yes. yeah tumekusahau ukaona utakuja uatakli ngugi another thing when god is elevating someone i think mtu face so much enemies too yeah. many enemies too, so much criticism lin wakati tu ana try kujigroisha kutoka tuko tu eh ju ametoka tu kwa na grow brand yake huyu yeah. atalabda ni mtu alimtumia <laughs> do you know that do you know that people are that petty yeah like lakini who who is god akapatana na je wacha nikwambie sijaiona mkenya amesupportiwa na watu kama vile Lin Ngugi alisupportiwa na watu kwa social media kuna kitu people said kuna ni charisma mtu anakubalika ni grace huo dem anakuanga amegresiwa like uwezi kosa mpaka kumsikiza even her voice ni soothing sasa hebu imagine wewe weka hiyo wewe you don't a give a I wanna hear na Lin come on come on no it's true What are making fun of people's music? No, 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 no. Mm-hmm. Tum, 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 tum. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I know. You, you listen to her songs and nah, stuff. Nani? We don't want to hear. <laughs> we don't want to hear too. Who does? I mean, I who does that lean? I mean, lean of all people. I think Dr. Watu wa kupiga, kuja ulipige lakini waachana na lean. I know. Lean ako na mbogi yake, kando. Yeah. But, but we're not against her in any way. We're just saying like the way she brought the story. I think there was a way. It's okay, no, no, let me tell you something. It's not kiki. Ni relevant alikuwa anatafuta. Let me advise you something. Like when you come because Lin Gugi is like a media station. You mm. understand? So when you come for interviews, we don't pay people to come. Not the people that live on the YouTube channel. Once you share your story, you don't get whatever comes out of it because you never find a story and doesn't go anywhere so the media house didn't pay you she wanted a cut because her story went viral it just happened that it went viral but the media house that no, does not you pay will you will leave it you will interview you come out of May your own free will so yeah me i ama aliangalia vile vitu vile kama bonga na jalas venye squeeze inaenda huyu yeah. anapata endorsement huyu anachangiwa yeah, live akaona ah na ni kama story yangu inafa irudi relevant size yeah. tusonge nayo no, nipate kitu ya kufanya they, a, a, a South Africa brand that approached her so she'll be doing also she's she'll ah, be congratulations ah nice na sasa mbona uwatakli ngugi na unaenda international mm-hmm. wachana na msichana wetu local enda international wewe ngata ngapata South Africa na ngasumbua msichana yetu wewe enda songa Okay. Yeah, we, we we wish you healing and you <laughs> healing. whatever you need. You get it. No, but you you, you talked about something. Nga. Yeah. Then nga. Can you talk about 
ngeli anga yes dennis chanua what is happening ngeli angu moya anga moya nge mikal hiyo sasa unajua let me tell you something you know yeah. if you, if you remember uh, there was a time when we had a story of wash wash if you guys mm-hmm. remember yes. and uh, then god somebody came out and decided to actually show us how it happens <laughs> to the first so the thing is kwaole ambao anashindwa ngamoya ni nini kuna mtu anaitwa terence creative the creative mm. you guy yes. this guy showed up and he did a whole it's, i would call it an expose on film because <laughs> <laughs> ilikuwa no one very good This guy ali pull off iki to villa in afa. And yeah. he did about two. Yeah. Na part two ndo ilikuwa even with in, your, in, in your part two. You know he was trending at number one on YouTube. Saizi yes. yes. Leo. He's, oh, he's still trending. He's still Leo. Trending. Wow. He's Today, almost at a million, million views. views. Eh? Comedy. Hapana okay. letter. Hapana kama analeta fine letter fine wine. Fine wine. Ah, yeah. Kama ngaleta whiskey, ngaleta fine, fine whiskey. whiskey. Yes. You know. <laughs> Um, let's talk about this on a serious note though. Yeah. For those people who are asking like, oh, what is wash wash? Mm-hmm. How does it work? This there, this right there is how, like this is one part of wash wash. Kadogo. This is one side. Mm-hmm. But kidogo son of wash wash. This is how they do it in one side but this it's it's more like it's more wash corning. Yeah, can you in a focus on the corning part. The corning you part. Ku yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Kuna ile fraudster, ile yeah. kina hash pub, mm-hmm. ile ile bia wa pesa kwa account. Na kuuza gold in, fake. Uh, yes, 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 it's it's bigger than that. Oh, aliuza 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 dawa ya kutengeneza watoto cancer. <laughs> 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 and it's it's very important mm, yeah. because the film is a reflection of the society. Yeah. Exactly. This guy actually went ahead and told us what we never knew. Yeah. Some yes. people back at home, aki kama unataka ku invest mahali na umeona hiyo deal. Hebu kwanza enda uone Uncle Fred. Wewe mm. msi Uncle Fred. Let me tell you something. What should business? Mtu anakuambia at hebu give me a hundred baba I'll give you a thousand. Kwani yeye anatoa? Na kwani wewe mbona nikupea nini so yangu au ni pedha? Usitaki na dawa yako wewe. Can you imagine someone giving you at give me 3000 bob i'll give you 20000 17000 mtu anakupatia bure umemfanyia ndio lakini kenya imefika wapi si tukipa kwa makeup mdem wetu mmoja wa makeup amekoliwa ati anaitwa interview si umesikia yeah na ni uongo unaona ile ati tupatane afya center lakini ofisi ziko hapa hill you see mbona tupatane afya si nikuje tu hapa hill i know that's what they do let me tell you guys something okay, actually yeah. this story uh, wash wash and it's it's a matter of us actually being very cautious yeah, yeah. Cause about the mind game. The mind games. It's all about the mind. There is no way as you've said somebody would tell you if they are making you 17 Gs. Ukiwa umekaa chini ya tinosha na chemical, unaanza kuosha. Nikaunga. Nikaunga alafu na. Eh ngamoya alafu eh alafu sasa mimi hii. Let me tell you something. In this life no one is going to give you anything for free. Ndio kupe yake and maybe your mom, your dad. But other than that, na siku zi hakuna chamba za expectations. People will not acta kama ni bure for now they want later future. loyalty they will collect mm. akunaga they will collect kunanga chabure chabure they will collect Actually, anything you ever see free has a very big bait on it yep. kuna kitu inakongoja yep. mbaya hivi inakongoja si mzuri yes. wambia si mzuri I, i tell you for free mm. the moment you see uh, kuna hizi vitu zinakamiki kwa simu mm. uh, zinaita go fishing links yeah. ati uh, safari komo this is giving you this yeah. free free for t- Okay, <laughs> 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 Nango put it just give it to someone at is double ama pension yango no, 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 no. be, mm. be, be, be very very yes super yes. like yes, yes, mliona hii video ya, ya pili yes. vile like that woman wakiwa na bwana and the guy was like no unajua kuna hiyo kind intuition kana kwa mianga what yes. yes. stop yes. bwana alikuwa like uko sure why if ako like what wende na ju sasa tulisikia hii gender ni sisi tunasemanga mnatenda bwana alitisha kutoka kwa safe leta hiyo milioni kumi eh leta ni mimi na baba yako ongea na yeye mpaka mtoto wako like 10 million man mnataka ya mko sure like mm. you you can't just get 10 million out of the blue fanya hivyo it's your whole savings it your whole life you can't just do that like guys be careful Tukwe if you kila mtu akona mtu amesikia mtu ame try kufanywa hii kitu 
Tafadhali. Tafadhali tujichungeni tu. Let's just take care of our money. That exactly. small money that you have, mm-hmm. invest it na kitu wenye wewe ni wewe una manage. Business, yeah, you, na God atakubariki. You can foresee, oh. mm-hmm. right? Go. Exactly. Hata tulimbi wangwa. Easy, Easy go. go. Right. Tafadhali. Mm-hmm. 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 Before we actually uh, run out of time, let me mm-hmm. let's talk about another story that mm-hmm. is actually just, uh, you know, making headlines. Mm-hmm. Now, Hollywood superstar Will Smith, we mm-hmm. already know who he is, right? Yeah. <laughs> now, he's opening up about his relationship with partner Jada <laughs> Pinkett Smith. In a more detail, after it was reported that Jada had a romantic relationship with Sina August and Sina while the pair were separated a few years ago. Now, while promoting his new memoir, Will, uh, the actor, told GQ that he and Jada have an open marriage, right? Where they have engaged in sexual relationships with other people outside the marriage. Okay. Now, while Will did not go into details, he did say that he had a difficult time wrapping his head around the concept at first because of his strict Christian upbringing. But Jada was more open to the idea <laughs> as she had family members who had dealt in an inconven- who had actually dealt in an invention in in conventional relationships before. Now. My, let's just talk about this, right? <laughs> let's have a talk about this. We had this story. You remember how to rebuke Jada Kabisa? Like, why did you do this to Will Smith? Tulikuwa you hapa. cheated. Tulikuwa kwa he said. Here, right? Tulikuwa hapa. You, yeah. Mm. Like, this woman, how could you do that mm. to your husband? You've been mm. married for so many years. And now Will comes in an interview and he's like, oh, that's not news like we do that all the time but it's like sasa so to make you say what we about me jifunika shuka moja ati wachana wao wachana na wao kabisa don't dare mm-hmm. right. usijaribu kujifanya diwe ndio rais kwa historia mm-hmm. tunajua uko na solution haki yeah. ya watu wanaweza kugeuzia <laughs> na wakuchekelea na wakuchekelea sasa sasa hii ebu imagine ile kamati ambayo ilikuwa inapega pressure mm-hmm. iko wapi sahi let me say something yeah actually jesse before mm-hmm. we actually have a different angle mm-hmm. i want to you to talk about mm-hmm. right now when um jada uh, when it was Jada who cheated, we've seen so many at Upper Kenya men cheat all the time. Wana kwanga kuko Edgar, their wives always take them back, and the society is okay with it. Now, when this came out, open marriage guys were really easy, quick to condemn. Like Mimi si wazi ni ni So guys were asking this: like, is it has it been normalized? Is it people are finding a hard time wrapping their head around this because it's a woman now? So what wako saw when men cheat? But now that it, women are doing it, and their husband is okay with it, mm-hmm. so Will Smith is a is, is how it, a wimp. Yeah, he's now a wimp. So mm-hmm. because of that, so can you talk about Kawaida. that angle where men are allowed like to always, cheat? Like always, it's when it's okay for the man to cheat, and, and it's never okay for the patriarchal. It's all, all is this we're talking about. It's a patriarchal. No. Patriarchal. Look, to come here, nini? Iyo nini? Like it involves when a man does something, ni okay na tunone kwa sawa. But it's the time of a woman kufanya. I know. Mama mwana mke afai. No. There is a society out here that actually says it's okay for a man to cheat and a woman. Do you know? Mwana mwana anafanya heartbreak up. Let me tell you something. Hao ni watu wale wawili tunajua. But when a man mwanamme anafanya hiyo kitu it's so hard mimi kitu tu nitasema saa hizi ya Will Smith juu ndio story yenye iko kwa line lakini wa Kenya mwache kucheat huyu kijana nitamwombea rudi kwa Mungu unasikia conscience yake haikuwa clean akitrai kufanya na ni bibi alimskuma there's some things that you do you're getting old he just turned 53 ama ni 52 53 yeah. and it's time anafaa kwa kika chini ya watoto wanacheza hapo wakiwa na bibi yake ni kuzeka wanazeka hii sita imenye nguvu yako uko nayo ya kuenda uko na wasichana sij 52 na wa, lakini let me tell you something like i'm saying mpaka mwili yako sasa hizi si time ya kucheat time ya kugo out of your marriage hiyo yeah. energy kidogo yenye mebaki watu siku hizi wapiti miaka sabini <laughs> cheza na yo, penda familia like right. tumia vizuri miaka yako na i hope god brings him back juko ncheza yake iko right na ninajua tu si kumoja na mtaniambia sisi hiyo story ni patu ya let's do this let's do this let's do this apana no they said they actually let me tell you something can i tell you something about their marriage yeah. they said their marriage is for life whatever happens they are never getting a divorce that is for life so that's why they have an open marriage wewe ukichoka go do what you have to do don't tell me about <laughs> it alafu turudi hapa hapa ni home do you think that would work kuku hey. anyway so let's tackle some of the comments hapa because of time now i i, I see some kush and i'm watching the best tv a big shout out to you that he's from nakuru shout out to you nakuru <laughs>
city tuko ndani i have a grand time when you a big uh, big shout out to you ibrahim haenda nasema salimia your crew present watching from diaspora big shout out to you benjamin omchemi omchemi kawangware stage 2 ndani pamoja asante sana david miendo wa kochomba in a big shout out to you nancy joroge pamoja manu origino as my children from jordan shout out to you hrh we see you watching live from wetivie kiambu county deno g wali anasema mark me present 1960 kayole is watching can't miss chit chat every thursday top fan over here shout out to you tunakupenda mse deno shout out to you when we to i love to shine fat on asema watching from ongata rongai sam ndunda anasema watching from kobojoy nandi county mc edwin keep career and some watching from eldorad city of champions and then i have bewa macha watching from macha kama kawaida shout out to mc toxi najua kama kawaida yeah jc instagram moses bon anitongo mo bon bon Nanyuki Nanyuki Yes I will always go with my Vanda Gemani pale JK Prison Nyeri ukiwa pale shikilie vile inafaa mbog yangu ya mtaani nashukuru sana and then feeling allow me to just say this yeah. you guys keep on going pale kwa YouTube Bob wa Magari na Isa hata tupata nani hiyo 1960 umesikia hapo kuna Kayole. game ya Man U kuna game tunaenda kuona mahali yes tupata nani Kayole now I'm JC oh yeah uh, thank you guys for tuning in uh, kama kawaida we appreciate you atunge kuapa kama sinyinyi just keep msisahau ku stay safe atujamaliza na bado na covid na muende mpigwe chanjo sawa by the way yes Mm. Oh, I'm hearing rumors. I don't know about curfew, but very unconfirmed rumors, but we'll be talking about that. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> Mimi, stop, stop. Tutu fa dele kitu ti room. Ni kama curfew imeisha bada. Unless you are confirmed. Ah, lakini it unconfirmed na confirmed ya ti room. So let's confirm ti room. Ti room ala kitu ti room. I am Mimi Sen. Shout out to the whole gang gang that made the show possible. Mimi, right here on the camera, we have Hillary. Hillary, thank you so much. Yvonne, uh we have Yvonne right there. Thank you so much, Yvonne. Thank you literally everybody yeah. else that made the show possible and you guys are the real mvps for always watching the show we appreciate you hey without forgetting mash when i wash shout out to you thank you so much guys we're going to see you again next week the uh, better, uh, better show. show yes yeah mkwana udaku leteni mshene we talk about the fungulio of mkwana udaku thank you we need your stories <laughs> We need, need you. Know, okay. I know. I know. Yes. We love you guys so much. You. We're going to see you again next week. Do enjoy the rest of our shows. <laughs> Do have a lovely night and enjoy your weekend. See Bye you. guys. Chit chat. 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 Chit chat.